bell peppers and the onions. So I'll be going in uh, a dish of its own. And then we have red potatoes, radishes, and zucchini with some chopped onions. We'll be going in a dish of its own. And I will show you more as I go. Okay, so the first dish is going to be for fajitas. So I'm going to do my twist on how I'm making my fajitas. And you either can do this in a crock pot or you can do it in the oven. And today I'm doing mine in the oven. So basically I'm just going to chop up my chicken into long strips if I can. And I'm not making them too thick, but thick enough to where when they cook, piece of fat. They're not going to show.
plate. So this is my second dish. And so um, what I'm going to do is at first I'm going to cut this chicken up and I'm going to dice it. I'm not going to have like a bunch of big pieces. So, uh, and these are really large breasts. I um, mean, you can feed two people off of one. Okay. So we're just going to chop this up first. And I always buy my produce all at one time, so it kind of shoots me in the foot sometimes because I don't use it fast enough. So today I'm making sure I get my all my produce cooked and used. So I'm going to put this back in the bowl. I have a reason for it. Now, if you have a bigger family, of course, I would suggest adding more meat. But it's just two or three of us here, so I don't need that much. Okay. And I don't want the fat. No, you be careful. I'm cutting the meat. Okay. Of course, that's too bad. I'll cut this in the So first what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to <coughs> first I'm going to um, put a little bit of olive oil on here. I don't know, about a quarter cup or so. I'm just all it it never had it never hurts to have too much olive oil. Alright, so we're just going to mix that up, right? Okay. Then, what I took is I have flour, a little seasoning salt, garlic salt, you know, just whatever you want. It's just flour, regular flour, all purpose. You know, whatever you want in there. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this over the meat, and I'm just coating it gently. I'm not, it's nothing like each individual piece and just coat it up, just so we have something to coat it. We want plain. Might as well add seasoning while you can. And if flour is not your, using white flour is not what you prefer, I mean use what you like. It's just about making it your own. Okay, so I'm going to put a little olive oil in the bottom of my pan. I'm going to bake this as well at 350. Okay. So all I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to lay this out in my pan. I'm just going to put it like in the center of the pan. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my vegetables and I'm going to place them around the chicken.